position where the matrix, so to speak, is, I guess, more amplified and you are closer to the source versus somewhere else where it has, I guess, less of its ability to reverberate and, quote, unquote, physically and maybe even psychically touch you? Hmm. Well, <laughs> is that what, or is that a statement or a question? <laughs> a, little, uh, a little bit of both. We're in the matrix. It's, it's yeah, all of it. That, that's what I'm saying, though. That's precisely what I'm saying. This is about shifting your consciousness. That that's my emphasis that I'm trying to make. That's that's the only way. Then, if we're going to use the word escape, that's the only way that you can really, truly move beyond it. I'm 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 emphasizing this it you doesn't matter where you move yeah, i'm not saying don't don't move and find a peaceful zone i'm not saying that at all what i'm trying to give is the bigger picture of what you're dealing with because what you could potentially end up having is an illusion of having escaped it's not and, and you don't i, I you don't want to have the illusion. If you move to someplace else that is more peaceful, you want to understand the evolution that your consciousness must take on. And I'm not talking from a fluff standpoint, but what your consciousness must be able to move into because that is the only thing then if we have to use the word save. That's all that can save you. Because you see, the system then, when you start moving into um, a higher uh, vibration of consciousness, which then shifts your physical body at that point as well, the, the matrix itself has no control over you. So it doesn't matter where you go and where you are. It, it has no control. But when we're doing a minuscule escape, which is a great beginning, that is a great start to be able to do that, but we must understand that we are still then susceptible to many other uh, conditions because our escape is, ends up being an, an illusion. And that's, that's what you, you know, needs to be understood is the way that really regulates. So your spirituality moving into greater depths of, of that, um, and, and putting that back in in place in power uh, is what will is, will do the trick. And then the matrix it doesn't really make any difference at that point. It, do, it won't. It doesn't even detect you at that point. And that's what you want is to be not non detectable. You do what you want to do, not have to go into uh, hiding per se from it. But you can be where you want to be, and uh, and it it doesn't get you because it's not going to pick up the fear and the survival program that your consciousness is putting out. Because wherever you go, you will feel secure, but you will still be wondering, uh, you know, if is there any potential, any chance that they'll suddenly you know, start coming here and trying to do that survival. So do what you need to now in terms of taking care of your body, your food, um, everything. Do all of that because that's all part of it. But don't isolate. Don't don't forget that one major part of it is the science of how your consciousness operates because that's all that's really happening is consciousness is really all that's moving around. Everything else is illusion. It's your consciousness that's that's shifting around. But it just depends on where you are, what your what level your consciousness is vibrating at, where you are in your awareness and, and your understanding, because that's what's going to determine your perception, what you're perceiving and how you're perceiving your reality. All right, all right. We're live and perceiving our uh, reality here on Inner Light Radio and LIV Radio, simulcasting this morning. Our guest this morning for the first hour, Sonia Barrett. And, uh, Sonia, you also have a website out. Can you share your website with our listening audience? Yes, it's www.spiritinform.com. All right. So that's www.spiritinform.com. And you also have a book out that you can share with our listening audience? Yes, it's called The Holographic Canvas. Mm -hmm. um, and it goes into um, you know, many of the, the things that we've, we've uh, talked about uh, this morning, um, basically exploring life as a uh, holographic reality.